what is this all about? That's obviously a glitch. That was a pretty cool glitch, though. Or, I don't know, maybe maybe it's not a glitch, because when you're doing the multiplayer, there's actually a jetpack that you can get, and it's not a jetpack, but it's like a, a jumper or whatever, I don't know what they call it, but, um, but it basically does just that. It jumps you up high into the air, and that's really just to see the environment, but that is the first time I've ever seen it in the single player game. And there is no other backpack that you can use in the single player game other than the jetpack, which is, as the name suggests, flies you around. So I still think it's a glitch, but maybe not. And all we're trying to do, before you can do uh, missions, you have to get your alert level down to green, which it is finally now. And I tell you, the harder the difficulty you choose, the easier it is to set that damn thing off. Like, for example, all you have to do is trespass. Maybe you're driving too fast. I have been shot at and my alert level gone to yellow because I was driving too fast. Yeah. That's happened. You know, here's a tip, too. Another hint, okay? Um, hey, if you're low on health and you're about to die, enter a vehicle. It buys you time. The time, the duration of time that it takes for you to... From you pressing triangle, which would indicate you entering a vehicle, to the time that it actually takes you to get inside that vehicle, you are invincible. And you cannot be harmed in any way. So, pressing triangle to get inside of a vehicle is a very, very good way to keep yourself alive when you're about to die. This entire area, this entire mining, uh, um, uh, what do you call it? Not mining pit, I suppose, or uh, yeah, or quarry. <clears throat> um, you, geez, see, look at that. Um, we'll give you a lot of salvage. All these hooks, all these buildings. There's just a lot of salvage in this area that I'm not going to get for you right now, you know. But like, look inside here, these little fuel canisters, just the one that I threw the bomb on, everything else isn't explosive, but that fuel canister that the bomb is on, uh, will give you a bunch of salvage.
Okay. I'm just going to drive through the next building to demonstrate how awesome driving these things are. Awesome. Whoa, that was really close. You know, and uh, I guess I have to talk about this too. Shooting the shooting the EDF or anybody, um, you know, it is detailed to the point where if you shoot them in the head once, they'll drop like immediately. And you can always tell when you've nicked a guy in the head because they just drop like a bag, like a sack of potatoes. It's so funny. And that was not shooting the guy in the head. Um, I'd like to demonstrate it for you. Ah, uh, we'll demonstrate it right here. Um, it's easier to get all the salvage in this area by doing this. Um, getting one of these big vehicles. And I mean all the salvage in this area. Look, it's a big circular pit. So, drive around the edges and just drive over all this stuff. And you'll pick, and if you have that device, that magnetic device, you'll grab all the salvage. And plus it's cool. Lots of salvage over there. Those uh, big, huge, massive fuel tanks. And it looks like we missed a spot. Or I guess we didn't. This is just the front part.
see in all these little EDF uh, storage uh, storage squares or storage uh, things, um, they, they will uh, give you a bunch of, well not a bunch, but they'll give you like modest amounts of salvage. I'm not going to worry about that. I'm moving on with life. Doom buggies are fast. Not the fastest car in the game, but maybe the second fastest car in the game. And certainly the fastest car early on. Oh look! That was the weakest roadblock. Oh, and we have to kill the captain. So that's the first mission. Um, you have a choice of which mission can be your first mission. So um, in Dust, anyway, um, and that was the first mission that I did in in Dust. So it's fairly simple. And I guess we'll just continue on with another video.